Hey, Mark Nelson here. Today what I want to do is talk to you about the top seven curiosity social media posts. I'm only going to go through a couple, and if you hang on to the very end, the very end, I'll show you with where you can get more. See, in social media posts, and I know you've been on there, you've seen people, uh, you know, spam links, talk about their company, all this stuff, and it just doesn't work. But curiosity marketing is where you build anticipation and mystery around your product, brand, and service. And they're extremely easy to do. It's a form of storytelling, and people like storytelling. You can do them on Facebook Lives. You can do them in print, and you see more and more. The top marketers, that's what you see doing. They do curiosity posts. So the first one, as we get going here, it's a story about fear. Ugh. But you know, when you talk about your fear, it really shows your vulnerability. And it makes you more relatable to your audience. It really does. Because some people come on, and I know you've seen them, some of these big marketers, they just come on and they seem like they're, they're so good, you're never going to get there. But if you talk about the fear of whatever you're trying to do, it starts showing up. See, if you're brave enough to expose your fears, people will be more likely to comment and support you. And that is so true. So here's how it goes. Whatever your fear is, I was so afraid to. I was so afraid to do a Facebook Live. Man, my mentor told me to do them. My sponsor told me to do them. My Colleagues told me to do, I just didn't want to do a live. I just was so nervous. So the next thing is, what would you say to yourself? I said, oh, Mark, man, you are so ugly. People don't want to look at you live. You don't speak well enough. You're not smart enough. You don't have any value. All this stuff, the fear. What will people think? What will my friends think when I go on a Facebook Live? So when you start doing that, if it's Facebook Live, then ask a question, right? You want to get the people involved. Can you relate to that fear? Have you ever felt like that? You want people to relate to you. So you want them to, to answer questions for it. And then make it emotional. See, by me not going live, it was holding my business back. It was keeping me standing in neutral. And I felt so stupid because I just couldn't get over that dumb dumb fear until I started doing Facebook Lives. So that is a story about fear. And as you're doing it, whether you're writing it or doing a Facebook Live, a YouTube video, always appreciate your support. Man, I really appreciate you're on here. If I gave you any value, would you please like, comment, and share it? And please, when I go live again, if you hit those notifications, it'll tell you when you're live. If you're on YouTube, would you subscribe to my channel? Hit that little bell notification first so you'll see my videos pop up all the time. I would really appreciate that. And then you got to have a call to action. If you are ready to face your fear of going live and want to see how I was able to get past this fear, that kept me stuck forever. Just comment below, I'm ready. Right? In the social media post. And when you say that, I'm ready, guess what? You can reach out to them on a messenger, and that's a new lead. That's what that post is so strong for. So now we're going to do another one. This is the skeptic. Oh. <sighs> And this really goes with a network marketer or multi-level marketing, whatever, I, I believe, or I shouldn't say any business. I was so skeptical for a long time. Man, I tried so many stupid things like this. I tried one and almost lost my family. It was financial services. I tried a relationship one that didn't work. I tried another one. Everybody else made money and I couldn't make money. And then I saw this and everybody said how easy it was. Well, they're not easy, but at the same time, it caught my interest. I was just so skeptical. I had no plan on doing it. And then I took a look at my checkbook. And I decided to give it a shot again. 
And to tell you the truth, it's different now. And do you know why? Because I'm different. I've learned how to market. I've gotten over my fears. I, you know, that's part of the story. <laughs> I started rambling. Then again, so as I'm going through this, the first one, I was skeptical for such a long time. And then you tell them how many things like this you've tried in the past. List your failures. Tell them about them. And then expand on the pain of how that make you feel. Remember, ask the question, did, man, have you ever felt like that? Did that happen to you before? And then tell them when you decided to give it a shot again. Because that's what's going to get them interested in it. Then make sure you acknowledge your supporters. Ask them to share more, to stay on more, to hit your, your subscribe button. And then you always have to have a call to action. Everywhere you go, you need a call to action. See, if you want to see what convinced me to try again, type info below and I'll plug you in for free. If you want to see what changed my mind when I decided to give it a shot, just type info below. Got to have a call to action. And those are good ones. Okay, so I actually, oop, I'm not going to tell you, not going to tell you. Here's what you do. This is a daily social media marketing checklist, right? Every day, you can ask questions. People love questions. Why do you get in network marketing? What was the thing you hate the most about network marketing? Something like that. Create value content. And I totally believe Facebook Lives are key. Even if you don't want to do them, do, do them inside a group. But Facebook Lives are key. Engaging in the community as an avatar. Now, I, I did a training before about empathy map. When you find who out who your perfect customer is, get inside those communities and engage and talk to people. Share value content in communities, not just yours, in other communities. Watch parties are huge. If you have a Facebook Live that was good, that got a lot of traction, you can put a watch party up inside a group, inside your group, on your profile page, and people get to see it again. Call to action marketing. Always have to have a call to action. Your goal is to get in their inbox the right way, not spamming, but to get in their inbox so you can start a conversation and building a relationship. So there you have it. Today I gave you two of the top seven curiosity posts. And I told you if you stayed till the end, I have a treat for you. If you would like to see the rest of the top seven, I have a special template. If you would like that, give me the word template in the comments below. Okay, you all take care. Look at my links below in this description. And I might even have a link for the template there. You all take care. Talk soon. Start building your business, working on social media the right way, using curiosity posts. Bye.